A gradient is a special effect that combines colors in a creative way that can be used to create backgrounds and even special effects on text and on objects. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create gradients and how the gradient tool works and also how to apply them in your projects to have good results. So as you can see here, this background was created using the gradient tool. There are three ways to use gradients in Photoshop. The very first method is to use the gradient tool from the tools panel here. Once the gradient tool is activated, you can now come up here and choose the gradient pattern you want to use. So when you come to the basics panel, the basics panel always has these three options from white to black, from white to transparent and from black to transparent and these colors here always are always selected depending on the colors you have here so if i change these colors here from that from, let's say from this color to this other color let me flip this black and i choose maybe a greenish color let me choose colors that are actually two different colors once I come up here now, you now see that Photoshop automatically loads these colors in the basics panel up here. So there are different settings or presets for gradients that have already been created within Photoshop, which you can pick from and use. So these are different combinations. So we have blue gradients, purple gradients. Let me open the purple gradient so you can see. We have um, pink gradients. The one you are currently seeing now was generated using this um, purple gradients here. Then we have um, the reds and a host of others. So how do you apply a gradient? Now let me create a new layer here and pick my gradient tool. Now, there are different um, settings for the gradient tool. Different settings. The very first setting here is the linear gradient. The linear gradient. With the linear gradient, it combines the two colors which you have selected and you implement that by drawing a line from one position to another. That is actually how all the gradient tools work. You just need to draw, click on one spot, and you draw to the next. From one spot to the next so this is a linear gradient you realize that with the linear gradient the transition between the two colors is in a linear manner like a straight line from top to bottom you can also draw from top to bottom you can draw from bottom to top so this is how the linear gradient actually is so you can draw from left to right right to left from every direction and then the next is the radial gradient. So you will note that the more I drag from one position to the next, if the distance, the distance from the starting point to where I end determines how much of the two colors are blended together in that gradient. So if I draw just a short distance, you see that the second color is predominant, more predominant than the first color. Because the gradient moves from this orange color, if you click here, it moves from the orange color to the purple color. So you see, if I click just a little, it means I want more of the purple color than the orange. So you just have to play with this to you get the desired effect that you want. And also, you can reverse the order if you wanted the purple color to be inside meanwhile the this uh, pinkish color should be at the edges you just need to click on reverse once you click on reverse and you draw you see the the purple color now comes inside while the pinkish color is at the edges so the next um, gradient setting is the angle that's it angle gradient when you click it creates an angle I rarely use this one. I rarely use this one. So the next is the reflected gradient. 
when you click and you drag you just need to play with the different settings and you see you see you see what you can create with them that's the reflected the next is the diamond gradient so it creates a kind of kind of a diamond shape at the center if you want a diamond shape at the center this is the tool you will want to use so this is the first way to activate the gradient tool in Photoshop so like other effects in Photoshop you can also activate the gradient tool from here from an adjustment layer when you click on this adjustment layer mind you all these effects we've applied were applied directly on a layer and you cannot go back to reverse them you cannot go back to reverse them but when you apply the gradient effect from an adjustment layer you can easily go back and adjust them so when i click like that an adjustment layer is created with the gradient there and then the a mask is applied on it so you can now see that the green color is already loaded here because our foreground color here is green so that's why you see the green color here so you can also change these colors maybe you can change to whatever color you want maybe this is the gradient you want we take ok so you can always double click on this and modify do you want it to be a radial gradient you change to that you want it to be an angled gradient you change to that reflected and uh, diamond so whatever gradient you want you can modify it from from here and you can also adjust the angle of the gradient you can also reverse the gradient you click on reverse so it begins to reverse how do you change the colors in this uh, gradient dialog box you just double click here when you double click here you can change your color so here when you click there the color picker appears where you can choose your color so i can choose this color use a darker color if i choose that color and i think okay i can also change this color up here and i take okay saturate it a little maybe i get red you see i've created a gradient already and the fun thing is you can influence the position the transition between these two colors maybe you want it to be the trans the more of the red color you just click on this button and you reduce down you see that the blues are reducing from the total the gradient as a whole you may want to increase the blues you pull it up so that is the way you adjust the transitions in between now you know that you can equally add another color how do you do that by clicking here once you right click on any point you can create another color i just need to double click and increase the color to whatever i want i can still add another color here just right click double click on this button i change it to another color you can still add another color by right clicking once i right click double click i choose the color i change the color into this other one so you can put as many colors as you want on a gradient but basically for me i always use two colors because i don't want to get my design so complex so this is how you apply a gradient using the adjustment layer so you can always see come here and you pick any color gradient that has already been created now you choose this according to your design according to the effect you want to apply on your design so this is the second way of applying a gradient in photoshop another way of applying a gradient is through the layer style let's say i have a new layer here with this green color on it and i want to apply a gradient on it i just need to double click on it then i open my layer style my layer style dialog box appears we are going to be talking about this the layer style all the functions in the layer style 
more detail in other videos but for the sake of this tutorial we are going to just talk about the gradient overlay now you come to the gradient overlay you activate it you see that you have a, a gradient panel here like in the previous uh, like like that which appeared when we were using the adjustment layer so same like that of the adjustment layers you can still adjust your angle here you can still choose a particular color to apply on a layer so that is it that is how you do it you can scale it up you can reduce the size and that is how you apply gradients in photoshop so let's now look at practical ways practical ways that you can use the gradient tool in photoshop let me show you the reason why i prefer using the adjustment layer adjustment layer or the gradients on the layer styles because using that from the adjustment layer you can always go back and modify you can always go back and change your color to whatever color you want if later you discover that the design that color was not matching and then even on the layer style you can always come back here and modify your gradient to on the layer style but with the very first method where we were using but the gradient tool here you cannot go back to modify it that is the difference so please learn how to use the gradient to under the adjustment layers or using it under the layer styles okay so let's look at practical practical ways that you can use the gradient tool in photoshop the very first example let me have um, let me create a background here that is blue okay and i bring my text i just want a text that will be very pronounced so that you can really see what we are working on okay 200 there are different ways that i can use to apply a gradient on this text the very first way is to just come here on layer styles double click and then i go to gradient overlay when I activate gradient overlay, you see the former gradient that I applied is already activated on this. So I can modify it and I change it to any other gradient that I want. Maybe I, might, I want this one. You apply it now depending on your design. Maybe you may want um, blues. Yeah. You may want this one or you may choose any other one. That suits your design so that is how you apply the gradient tool and you can also use the arrows this the angle sorry to adjust it to change the look of the gradient so that is the first way that's one of the ways to do it also you can so you can enable the effect here and disable it if you don't want it later you can disable it completely also another way is to create an adjustment layer with gradient the gradient effect and then you come here and choose the same color i think this is the one we applied you know this when you choose that color on the adjustment layer now you can clip it you can use a clipping mask how do you create a clipping mask you hold the alt key and you bring your mouse in between the two layers make sure that the gradient layer is directly above the text layer to which you want to apply your gradient and then when it is there you hold your alt key and you click you now see that that gradient has been applied to this layer so you see you, like the other example you can see come double click and then modify your gradient to whatever gradient you want okay now the third way of applying a gradient is to create a new layer let me delete this layer mask you create a new layer 
and then you use your rectangular marquee tool and then maybe you create a selection like this that is directly the size of the shape that you want to use then you use your tool your gradient tool set the color that you want and then you just you just apply like that once this is applied same as we did with the layer mask with the adjustment layer we just have to come here use art and then you click creating a clipping mask so you see the gradient has been applied on our text that is a very amazing way of applying gradient so you can do same even for pictures if you want to apply this on an image if you liked this video please click on the like button subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i release a new video thank you for watching